Located in the heart of downtown Detroit, the MSU Community Music School has provided high quality music education and music therapy services for more than a decade. Recently, the school received a $1 million endowment from the MSU Federal Credit Union, which will bolster the school's music and arts programs. Joining me now to tell us a little bit more about the program is the director of the Community Music School, Chris Johnson. Thanks for joining us today, Chris. It's my pleasure to be here, thank you. So for those who don't know, give us a little background on the program, what it offers. Absolutely, so MSU's Community Music School Detroit, we pride ourselves on serving uh, the city of Detroit through lifelong music education, which means that any student at any age level or any skill level can come to us and study music at an affordable rate, and we also provide instruments as well as stellar education. So it's an extracurricular program, all kinds of schedules, all kinds of ages and ability levels, right? Yes, absolutely, yes. So we have so, some students who come in for early childhood music, and they're really just working on their cognitive abilities, connecting with their parents through music as well as just developing, and yeah. we also serve grade school students who can come to us with no prior experience and learn an instrument at any level, as well as adults. Yeah. What is the value of that, especially for young children when you're thinking about that? They're not necessarily uh, virtuosos yet. What is the value of learning an instrument and understanding music at a young age? Honestly, for me, I think it's really important, even if we're looking at students who aren't going to continue on in music, which is the vast majority of students, mm -hmm. it's really about building that confidence, kind of building a sense of community, building a place where they can really kind of show up, be safe, learn something, kind of stay engaged. Yeah. And to me, that's creativity that's going to, you know, drive the rest of their careers and the rest of their lives. Yeah, when you hear about music programs being cut from schools around the country, it's one of the first things to go. Right. Uh, how do you feel when you hear about that? This is a vital part of, of your experience and your education, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, for me, I found my place. I was a really awkward, kind of socially awkward <laughs> kid that didn't really know, you know, what I wanted to do, didn't find my friend group until I got involved with band. And honestly, band kind of helped save my life and point me in a positive direction. I think sometimes we do see these arts programs get cut, but we also have programs that come in and supplement, like Community Music School Detroit, and it's a great opportunity for students to still get that social experience yeah. and also learn about the arts. Now, I imagine it's a wide range of instruments, uh, and, and do students need to bring their own, or are instruments provided? So in some cases, students can come to us with no instrument, and we do have an instrument library okay. that students can borrow an instrument for us to get started. Very nice. Are there any trends right now? Is there one particular instrument everyone wants to play, is it, or is it, you know? I feel, a wide like, variety. I feel like the drums are always a popular option yes. amongst students and <laughs> most students see themselves being some sort of like singer songwriter so piano and guitar sure. are usually pretty popular as well. Sure and you are a trumpet player and a composer yes. by trade. Uh, what has your musical life done for you? Like obviously it's, it's your career now. What else has it given to you as an adult? Right so actually I went to Michigan State for both my bachelor's and my master's and then I was on the road with the Count Basie Orchestra for about wow. 12 years. So I've actually traveled around the world playing music as well yeah. as doing administrative jobs composing music, arranging music, composing for film. Um, music has taken me really far. Yeah, it, you're doing what you love. It's, Absolutely. It, is it amazing to be getting paid to do your passion? Absolutely, every day I wake up and I hear about people who hate their job and I've never experienced that. I actually really love what I yeah. do and I love giving back to the community as well and being a part of a program like this because this was part of my upbringing. I was yeah. involved with youth programs through Michigan State, University of Michigan, as well as Detroit Symphony that really helped transform my, my musical career. Uh, we mentioned there are music therapy services, classes, what is that all about? So music therapy is really about working with taking music. We have uh, practitioners that are board certified music therapists and they use music to help heal any number of ailments to be able to just add some positivity into people's lives. We actually have a partnership with the Children's Hospital of Michigan with actually going in and working with these patients and playing music for them and getting them to sing and interact in a way that's really healing for them. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, and it's called the MSU Community Music School. What is the connection to MSU? So we're actually an outreach division of Michigan State University. University's College of Music. Okay. So there's actually a, a community music school in East Lansing, which is the original community music school. And then uh, we started ours over a decade ago in Detroit. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, do you have any events? What's coming up? Is there a, a particular time to enroll or is it kind of year round? So right now is actually the perfect time to enroll. So we actually are coming up on our summer semester for both youth and adults. That's going to okay. be starting in early June. And to get involved, you just visit cmsd.msu.edu. Very nice. And you mentioned youth and adults. I imagine youth, it's a better time to learn an instrument <laughs> if, you're, if you're young and you know, you've got that malleable brain. Right. What about adults? What would you say to adults who have never touched an in instrument before? They're not very musical. Is it possible to, in your later years, pick up an instrument and actually 
become reasonably good at it. We have some really talented adults. Some of them played in band in high school and got away from it. Some of them are complete beginners and they always wanted to learn piano or always wanted yeah. to learn how to do something. Absolutely, it's never too late to get involved with music and to me it just adds such a joyful part of your life and it's really essential. Yeah. Love that. It gives another reminder on where they can find all this information, pages to follow. Right, absolutely. So we're cmsd.msu everywhere on all social, and you can visit us at cmsd.msu.edu. All right, very cool. Chris, thanks so much for joining us. It's my pleasure to be here. Thank you. Appreciate it.